part five of our 10 part series on everything you need to know about servicing and compliance for rental properties. And we're sticking to smoke alarms again for number five. I've got my trusty old alarm that I used for the last couple of videos. And this one is to do with expiry dates because a lot of people don't realize that alarms actually expire every 10 years. Every single one of them does. So you need to have a look at the thing and have a look on the back of it. This one, uh, the Clipsals, has a date code. You can see just here date code. So the date code was the manufacture date. Now it's not actually from the install date, it's from the manufacture date. Whether that you know, may or may not be the best way of approaching it because essentially they're not being used until they're installed. But that's the manufacture date, strictly speaking. That's when 10 years later, this one says 2016, so in 2026, this one would have had to be replaced anyway, regardless. Now, a lot of alarms, you know, you'd be, a lot of the brands are out there, you'd, have, you'd be lucky to get 10 years out of them, but the ones that we, we install um, have lifetime warranty, 10 year warranty. So, um, you know, we check that every single time we service. But if you have someone coming to do the service work on your smoke alarms, that should be something that they're checking and recording for you. So you know which one is coming up for replacement next year or the year after. In Queensland, you're probably refreshing them all right now anyway, but it is an important thing and it's something that we record for every single smoke alarm, for every single test. Hope that helps. Speak to you in number six.